If I could redo Yale, I would definitely change my major. This is a really hot, complicated topic, so be sure to watch this whole video through. First of all, I don't think I got very much out of my East Asian Studies degree. I mean, being honest here, the reason I chose it is because it's a relatively easy major and I was traveling a lot due to my startup. And also, pretty much everything that I learned through my East Asian Studies degree, I probably could have deducted, figured out, by reading books in a library. Which means, mom, you were right, I was wrong, I should have majored in STEM. But before I tell you which specific major I should have chosen, let's play a little imagination game. A million dollar imagination game. Okay folks, take out a pen, sheet of paper, or your notes app. I want you to write down your answer to the following question. What do you think are going to be the most lucrative industries over the next 20 years? Pause this video, jot down your prediction, and let's compare notes. Ready? Have something written down? Fantastic. Now before I show you guys the answer key, I'm going to tease you guys just a little bit more. Allow me to share a three minute history lesson because to understand the future, we must first understand the past. Specifically, I wanna take a look at the most dominant technologies and companies over the past 10 years. This just might help us better understand what's to come in the years 2021 to 2031. <sighs> Here we are, the good old 2010s. Man, I remember it just like yesterday. This was a decade of tackling inefficiencies and instant gratification. We saw the rise of the shared economy, Uber, Lyft, Airbnb. We saw scrappy little social media startups become tech conglomerates. I'm talking Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. And what started off as puny streaming services ended up collecting so much data they could predict our preferences better than we can. This is Spotify, Hulu, Netflix, Twitch, and now Disney Plus. And last but not least, we saw Apple and Amazon literally take over the world by spreading their tentacles using services like the App Store and AWS. Long story short, if you were a software engineer, product manager, hell, even if you were a social media influencer and you toiled away working on making things better, faster, cheaper, more entertaining for the rest of us, chances are you made a million dollars over the last 10 years. However, times are a-changing. Just like after the dot-com bubble, where there was a website for everything, these days there is literally an app for everything. People have also tried to make a shared economy concept out of everything. I'm talking babysitting, pet sitting, plant sitting. All right, I'm kidding, plant sitting doesn't exist, but it would be pretty funny if it did. So, now that we've gotten the past out of the way, let's take a look at the next big things. Your ability to leverage these technologies will not only greatly affect your own security and prosperity, but also the security and prosperity of your friends, your family, and your unborn children. The five most disruptive technologies converging over the next decade are artificial intelligence and machine learning. We are only in the first inning. DNA sequencing, the genomic revolution. It's coming, guys. That being said, I do think it's a lot closer to 2030 than it is to 2020. Although, admittedly, we have seen the rise of wearable health tech like Apple Watches, which can calculate your heart rate and your pulse and tell you if you're sick before even you know if you're sick. Blockchain and crypto. Guys, Bitcoin has surged over the past few months. Why? Because smart money has started entering the equation. Energy storage. Thank you, base god Elon. That's all I have to say here. Robotics, not the typical friendly kind that vacuums your house, guys. I'm talking about robots that make robots <laughs> that make machines or computers. CapEx. Now that was just a tiny taste. Honestly, each of these technologies really deserves its own video or series of videos. I just want you guys to know that these technologies are going to be huge dominant over the next decade. And I didn't make this list up. In fact, the total opposite. I stole this list from the legendary Kathy Wood, founder of ARK Invest, yeah, and the financial grandmother I always wish I had. I founded ARK Invest in 2014 for one reason, and that was to focus solely on disruptive innovation. We believe that there are five innovation platforms evolving at the same time. This has never happened in history. You have to go back to the late 1800s to see three innovation platforms evolving at the same time. Back then, electricity, telephone, 
and the internal combustion engine. For the 50 years through 1929, because of those innovation platforms, we experienced a booming economy and very low inflation. We see that happening with these five platforms, which are already, we believe, for prime time. The five innovation platforms upon which we base all of our research are DNA sequencing, robotics, energy storage, artificial intelligence, and blockchain technology. These platforms cut across sectors. They cut across geographies. They cut across markets. And importantly, they are converging with each other to spawn new innovation. A really good example of that is autonomous taxi networks. What are autonomous taxi networks or autonomous vehicles? They are robots. Autonomous vehicles are robots. They will be electric, so they'll be run by batteries, and transportation will be moving on to the grid. And they are powered by artificial intelligence. So those are three platforms converging. Now just think about traditional research departments. Who's going to follow those stocks? We are, Kathy. We are. We're going to participate in the construction of new companies that will create new stocks, which will ultimately generate shareholder value But to do that, guys, it's so, so important to develop a technical foundation, which is why we need to return back to the STEM degree. Joking totally aside, if I could redo Yale, I'd have majored in one of the following majors. Statistics and data science, computer science, molecular developmental biology, chemical engineering, or Yale's brand spanking new major, which I think is absolutely phenomenal, computing and the arts. <sighs> we have reached a point where saying that you are technically inept is the same thing as saying like, you can't read. It's flat out unacceptable. There are no more excuses. And honestly guys, if you really, really hate coding, software, all that geeky nerdy stuff, you're more of a humanities guy or gal, guess what? You guys can focus on adoption. Learn how to sell, learn how to market, learn how to distribute these amazing technologies to the general public over the next 10, 20 years. I'll end with a specific example. Like take your classic social media influencer. It's not like this person designed the Instagram algorithm and knows exactly how it works. However, comma, they rode the wave and knew enough to figure out how to generate likes, comments, shares in order to self promote and profit. So friends, to close out this video, I'm gonna leave you with a little homework assignment. Research these five disruptive innovation platforms for a few hours and figure out which one you would be the most interested in participating in. Chances are one of these, if not all of these technologies will interest you. As always guys, keep it real. Know that I'm constantly rooting for you. Your success is my success and I'll catch you the next one. Peace.